welcome to Cider Insider, where today we're talking about pears. Oh shit, have we got any pears? Right, no, bananas, pistachios. Uh, no, it's Marmite. No, it doesn't resemble pear. Uh, we were closer with the orange. It wasn't an orange. It's an apple. No, oh, it's uh, peri, peri peri. No, no, we want the fruit, the pear. Uh, close. I mean, it's a it's a fruit. Close. So we're getting closer, but this is a banana. That's a quiche. We're going backwards here. Welcome to Perry and Cider. Or should that be Pear Cider and Cider? Now, Perry is a drink made from fermented pears. Much like cider is a drink made from fermented apples. Cider, the term, comes from the old French cidre, which comes from the Hebrew sheker. Sheker basically meant any strong drink. And over time, the English word narrowed down enough to mean any strong alcoholic apple drink. Special Perry pears are used to make Perry, and these used to be known as wildings. They're a lot smaller, they're quite unpalatable to eat as well. They're high in acid and high in tannin. Most of them grow around Gloucestershire, Herefordshire, and Worcestershire. All right, Gloucestershire, nice hair, Herefordshire. Thanks for coming, Worcestershire. The pear is picked, crushed, and pressed. Then the juice is fermented using the yeasts on the fruit skin. The pears are left for a critical period of time after picking, a process different to that of cider making. The drinks usually end up having a residual sweetness and less bitterness than their apple cousins. Fun fact, alcoholic drinks derived from pear date back to the time of Pliny the Elder. Off of Pliny the Elder. After an initial decline of perry making in the 20th century, due to the fact it was labour intensive and time consuming, it suffered a catastrophic decline at the end of that century. But now perry has had a bit of a resurgence, with two and a half million Brits having it every year. Now perry versus pear cider. Brothers first used the term pear cider in 1995 to refer to their drink made with pear concentrate, sold at Glastonbury Festival that year. The term pear cider as opposed to perry has proved to be a good seller, with sales growing from 3.4 million pounds to about 48 million pounds in a couple of years. Brothers, Gamers, Bulmers and Magnus all produce their own pear cider, mainly targeted at the 18 to 34 year old market. Our friends over at Camera hmm. see these pear ciders as merely producing a pear flavoured drink and don't recognise them as the traditional perry. Although the National Association of Cider Makers see pear cider and perry as interchangeable, so long as neither of them contain more than 25% apple juice. Plum Jerkum is an alcoholic drink made from plums. Outstanding. Plum Jerkum, Plum Jerkum, Plum Plum Jerkum, Plum Jerkum, Plum Jerkum. Enough about perries. Let's have a pear. Perry. Oh. Hailing from the Malvern Hills, Hogan's Cider Farm are slap bang in the middle of Perry country. And these guys love to produce Perry that's more Perry than Matthew Perry getting married to Katy Perry and giving birth to Perry from Little Mix. No pear or apple juice have been added to this one and no sugars added before fermentation. And this one, their Vintage Perry 2014, has been sent to us by our Perry pioneers over at craftynectar.com. Hogan's have used 100% English pears to produce this one. They're harvested by hand and gently washed. It's a 5.5% perry with medium, light sparkling champagne look, well balanced on the palate, with a bit of fruit tannin qualities and delicate fruit aromas. Let's get this perry in a glass and see what all the fuss is about. So here we go, rounding off our tale of perries with Hogan's 2014 Vintage Perry. 100% fall, oh, that is smelling great. This episode of Cider Insider was sponsored by Matthew Perry. Vintage Perry 2014. Really pale. I can see what they're saying when they say it looks like champagne. Not much head on there, decent amount of carbonation. Just looks crisp and refreshing, like a big old pair of scissors. Oh yeah, musty smell. Oh, oh, sweet, sweet, sweet pear. Oh, that is easy drinking. That is absolutely lovely. Musty, bitter, but sweet. As you're talking through it, they've taken a pear, they've given it the cider treatment and made it a winning, winning perry. Oh, that is, I'm losing my voice. Crisp, refreshing, and now I'm drinking more of it actually. Now that my mouth's kind of used to it, I'm getting a much bigger pear flavour. Oh yeah, Hogan's Vintage Classic. That's all from Perry Insider today. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to CraftyNectar.com for sending us the delightful Perry from Hogan's Cider Farm. 
and remember to subscribe if you like what you saw. Drop a comment if you think pear ciders are better than Perry's or if you don't even give a shit. I'll see you next time, Perry fans. Thanks for watching.